part of Entai Media Center? Yeah, let's see it. All right, here it goes. First up, our first tape is Unusual Architecture. So this oh. is a new analog horror altogether. Architecture? Yeah. Oh. Made by the same guy who did Analog Archives. Hmm. Didn't that turn out to be a failure? No, uh, he just completed it. The Channel oh. 7 was the failure. Oh, okay. I like it. I want his shit. Give me your video effects and crap. So he makes a new channel each time he starts a new project, huh? Um, yeah. Easier organization, I guess. So, let's take a look at what an impossible shape is. An impossible shape, known as the Penrose shape, is a geometric structure that cannot exist within the three Euclidean space. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's how we're going with. Such configurations also cannot exist within the limits of non-Euclidean space, such as the elliptical, spherical, or hyperbolic ge geometry. These common Penrose shapes include the Penrose tri-bar. The impossible cube. The Penrose staircase. Although they seem to be paradoxical in nature, it's merely our psyche that dictates their appearance. By disregarding the limitations of our minds, we can begin to co come to an understanding of the nature of these impossible shapes. Music stop. Something's gonna happen. It's not a positive nature. Now, for the impossible shapes in architecture. The concept of these was first devised by the psychologist Lionel Penrose and his son, mathematician Roger Penrose. The two believed their creations were impossible to recreate within the confines of our universe. Despite the incredible ingenuity of Lionel and Roger Penrose, oh, fuck, never mind. Artist M.C. Escher was responsible for popularizing the image of impossible shapes. His art often depicts buildings that incorporate these configurations, which is true. M.C. Escher did a lot of these. Such art opens up the possibility of real-world construction of impossible shapes. The usage is, oh, could be the gateway to unlocking perpetual motion ma machines. I don't know why I said madness. We're anticipating madness, aren't we? Impossible shapes have the capacity to lead us towards access to infinite energy. Ooh, I just got an idea. It requires a trained mind to conjecture the appearance of true possibility. Not even MC Asher was capable of this task. The key to the secrets of the universe lies within the brain. That's actually true on some level in a spiritual pseudoscience. Perfect. And now, we are constructing an impossible shape! By the way, Woo. I should bring up the Twitter to this. They also have a Twitter with this as well. And I'll share with you photos. The following is how to successfully construct an impossible shape. You take the brain and you throw it out. In order to even begin the process, your mind must be, your mind must be first open to the possibility. So, to determine if your configuration is truly impossible, it's best to rotate this in a 3D space. Uh, meanwhile, I'll give you a photo of the Aventai Valley Media Center in 1969. It's relatively normal. Follow the instructions carefully, ignore mental distractions. Ooh. There are no faces. First stop. Begin by extruding a rectangular prism of any material upwards relative to your coordinate axis. Note that the larger the object is, the less stable it will be after construction is finished. Step two. Extrude a second rectangular prism perpendicular to the angle of the first. The lengths of both should be equal to one another. 
within the vicinity of the construction. And then we do some photo fucking magic! God is not happy that you're trying to do this. We fucking corrupt the tape? And then voila! The Penrose Drive Bar should be complete. The Play Store. Now to rotate this shit and break everything! That was a skeleton. Ha, ah, there we go. Okay, Great. I understand next to nothing. So, Eventide has a Twitter, does it? Yep, and I'm looking at it. And, uh, now to share the first ever impossible construction in Eventide Valley. Okay, so the whole idea is this Eventide Corporation could actually make impossible shapes possible. It's, it's a media center, it's just that. It just shows you the media. And I just realized that the Inventi Valley Media Center photo, uh, there's an eye. I did not realize that first. I think the Eventide uh, depends on powers from hell to make these impossible shit. I, I don't know. I'm just uh, going. I'm here. <laughs> <Adam and Chernobyl. laughs> Weird shit happens at Eventide Media Center. Now, don't get ahead of me, Sharp. Here's the thing that's uh, uh, funny. That Twitter post you posted of the uh, prism, right? Yes. Somebody said The Verge. It really does, though. That's the logo for the fucking Verge news media. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> the Verge is involved with Event Tide. It's all a conspiracy. Oh, Jesus. It. Uh, right. Carlos Maza had to do with it. Alrighty, then. Are you ready to get your local weather? Yes, uh, I need to know if it's going to be forecast. raining tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Time for... The Ocean View Forecast. Man, I really need a forecast. Let's see what we got here. All right. Tonight it will be raining children and dead old ladies. Currently, yeah, Misty Point is 65 Thank with God I fog. My umbrella. <laughs> I love how they mimic the retro weather channel. Don't forget, the Misty Light uh, uh, Fog House is going to be open, and there's going to be some tours free for veterans, children, and senior citizens. Let's go, Gonzo. Yeah! Is it the Misty Yacht? Uh, oh fuck, I forgot. Misty Point Tourist Center for more information. Here is what's going on right now in uh, Lower and Upper New York, and Connecticut, Rhode Island, and uh, Massachusetts. I'm trying to remember, my geography is failing me. Yeah, there would be foggy, but a chance of thunderstorms. Yeah, there is no Misty Point on Yeah, Cape it's Com. all fake, it's fake, it's fake, kitty, okay? I, I know, I know. To... Monday will be I partly immersion. cloudy and windy with the highs in the upper 70s. And that is your ocean view weather. Thanks, Gonzo. Thanks, Gonzo, the weatherman. I can always rely on you. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Why? To give you an update. Hey, Here's that's your... one of the three sisters. That's that's actually Cape Cod. What? Yeah. Huh. Now for an update. It's currently 59 degrees with thunderstorms in the area and the wind southwest of 42 miles an hour. There is also fog in the area. And currently it's storming up in Boston as well. While it's currently raining in, ha in Hartford, Connecticut. Fog is also present in the Albany area in New York. Exactly. We currently have a dense fog advisory tonight. Visibility is quarter mile or less. Will develop tonight, especially around the bodies of water and low-lying areas. Due to inclement resident conditions, residents of Misty Point, Indigo Shows, and Luca Cove are advised to remain indoors. So, I don't live near Albany, New York, but this is what it looks like outside my room right now. I Oh, the storm is starting to get a little bit strong. However, though, we do expect Monday to be partly cloudy with a, with a high of 78. Tuesday will be having showers, a little 53. And Wednesday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 80 degrees. 
Temperatures will be expected to be abnorm above normal, and precipitation is expected to be above normal from late June to mid-July, according to our long-range outlook. Those venturing towards the coast should be cautious. The wind is now gusting to 68 miles an hour now. At the bottom, it said 81 miles per hour. Yeah. Oh, dear. Looks like uh, it's starting to get a little bit crazy. And we're... What? Walked across the green. Weather doesn't do that. Severe thunderstorm warning now in the has been issued for the area. High winds near the storm center may cause widespread damage. Take caution. Avoid any coastal areas during this time. This is in effect until sunrise. Retur remain indoors and avoid venturing out until further notice. They may coastal flooding may pose a threat to the residents of the surrounding towns. Let's check our current conditions. Currently still 52 degrees at Misty Point. Severe thunderstorms in the area, and it looks like there's light coming through the television signals. Woo! They're here! Current, there is something rising out of the waters. The deluge brings forth the light in the ocean. The lighthouse is glowing. A face is now forming as the humidity is spiked to 99 degrees and is covering most of the coast of Massachusetts. Is that oh a God, hand? It's a sentient That's storm. A face. Where? I didn't see the face. The face was on the right hand side, but it's going to oh. appear again. Looks like it's corrupted the TV. Is, is that a web spider? Below? Yeah, is that a giant web on the lighthouse? There it is. Ah, it's, it's no face. Scream! Ah, shit, I dropped something. Now it's worth pointing out that, uh, there's a photograph of the Misty Point Lighthouse back in 1943, and this is what it looked like. Oh, there's the face. Where? Go back. No, in the photo I posted in the chat. Oh, let me see. <sighs> I don't see a face. It's the, it's the clouds. It's in the chat. I still don't see a face. It just looks like a okay. pie symbol. Oh god, you're affected by local 58. <laughs> you don't see a face! You know what's really <laughs> funny? Um, if I'm correct, that's that's one of the um, Cape Cod lighthouses or one in Maine. Uh, that looks like one of those. Oh fuck. I sincerely I, don't I see a face. Y'all crazy. All right, everybody. Do you want to uh, take a look at a good, complete safety guide for the family about nuclear safety? What the fuck? What do we need to... Okay. An official United States film by the Massachusetts Threat Defense Group. If a nuke hits the ground, you're all going to die. We live in an ever-changing world. Unfortunately, with scientific advancement comes conflict. In this day and age, certain weapons can be used to wipe out entire cities with ease. I ask nuclear weapons. We must therefore face the reality that one day a nuclear attack on America can occur at any given moment. Know the danger of nuclear weapons to protect yourself and your family. Here are some warning signals. There are two types of signals to be prepared for, the alert signal and attack warning. The alert signal denotes a peacetime emergency while the attack warning signals the threat of America. Here's what your alert signal will sound like. Now for the attack warning. I mean, these are pretty informative. If you hear an attack warning siren, head for shelter right away. The Why is it a Triforce? The symbol on screen denotes the location of a fallout shelter. We have to use the power of wisdom! It's the anti-Triforce! <laughs> the effects! Power! There are four distinct events that will occur when an atomic bomb detonates. I don't know why I said that. First is the flash. The first is a blinding flash of light that occurs instantaneously. 
then the heat wave that ignites anything in its path. You realize we're not going to be there to see any of that. And then the blast wave carrying dangerous debris and the sound of the explosion. And then the fallout. Radioactive fallout dropping from the explosion's mushroom cloud. This is one of the more deadly aspects of a nuclear explosion. Once the bomb drops, look away immediately. If you can see the bomb hit, you're a dead man. At that point, heading for cover will be futile. The most you can do is hope that he kills you before the flash. Damn, at least he's honest. The aftermath. Stuck and covered. Yeah, if you're not in shelter, you're just a dead man. There is no aftermath. There are no faces. There are no Once the faces. attack begins, there is no hope for survival. Fallout is the lethal material that it can be expelled from the cloud at the base. The effects and true nature of this are unknown. Fallout can seep into even the most impenetrable shelters. There is no escape. Yeah, if there are any cracks or faults in the, uh... I'm sorry, when was Fallout supposed to eat people? Apparently it does now. It's hungry. Now how to prepare for such an event. <laughs> Yeah, there is no way. You can't be prepared for it. Once it begins, there is no way to stop it. An attack is inevitable, and as such, one should mentally prepare for the day it happens. Those who are ready will experience no pain in the transition. Transition. Oh, I think Those we're talking about the apocalypse for the judgment. Yeah, we're definitely talking about the apocalypse. Were there skulls inside the mushroom cloud? It's important to inform your family, your friends, and neighbors to effectively prepare for a nuclear attack. As the United oh, the Nations, face now. our undying spirits will live on. <laughs> now you see it. <laughs> there is also a photo accompanying this. An unregistered test from the Bikini Atoll area. I thought you were about to say Bikini Bottom. And this is uh, what we should really look for. That looks like a tentacle monster. Yeah, it's not a nuclear explosion. It's a giant jellyfish of sorts. Fun fact, there are theories out there that je there are jellyfish aliens. I'm not surprised. I love science. Now for a deep night in with the Ventide Media Center. Oh boy, I hope it's a movie night. No, that comes later. Damn it! There will Fuck be popcorn. some Get minor topography growth involved in this. A lot of holes and uh, some unpleasant creatures. <laughs> Although, welcome. We're going to be signing off with WEBC TV. 26th Center Street, Ventide Valley, Massachusetts. Good night. Good night. From the Tide Valley Communications. I'm guessing. Bye. What else? I hear the night. I hear Batman. Current time. 3.26 a.m. Welcome hey. to Deep Night. Deep Night. Look at that 
Domino's fall. Look at that retro ass look. The devil rise again. Now That's all I think. Night bull programming. Bulletin. Tripog. Tripoga. I can't even pronounce that. Typography. Oh. Typography. And then Penrose Fields. Greenhouse. Yada yada yada. Yeah, Penrose Fields. That's that's from earlier, isn't it? Now let's Done. take a look at the first region. Latest captured, 3.22 a.m. Location, Torrent Park. I'm gonna see Slenderman. Uh, no, it's gonna be a little bit weirder than that. Region 1 data. Uh, what's this shit? Quantity, diameter, depth. Okay. Torrent Park region has seen minor increase in growth since last inspection on March 20th. Growth. growth. We're talking about the plants? Maybe. Second region. Okay, there's holes in the ground. What those holes mean, nobody knows. Region 2 data. Growth, 14%. Updates. The Zenith Garden region is located 2.3 kilometers from Torrent Park. Still known that the two regions are physically linked. Region oh. 3. A lot of holes in the ground. East King Street, 325 a.m. What sounds like Cthulhu? Growth at Growth 48%. Updates. East King Street region has seen a substantial growth since last inspection. Data suggests presence of seed growth. For region four. four. Damn. All these holes. Dig it up. Playground. Oh. Peepers. Region four data, twenty nine percent. That was only twenty nine percent growth. Updates. A connection to the East King. Oh, fuck. Oh! Fuck. Pods! That looked fucking scary. That was Region 5. Oh, something's coming out. What is it? It's like a skull? Earth? Worm? Mega, mega earthworm? They cause some kind of interference with electronics. That's for Region sure. Region 5. 83%. At the, whatever it is, it's almost sprouted. Updates. None. Growth nearly complete. He was have, hesitant to write that. Current time, 3.31 a.m. Something tells me you don't want to be around when growth is nearing completion. Logo. Now for the photo associated with that. I don't want to. Minor typography growth. Latest capture, 3.28 a.m. From the location at Venus Look Court. Look at the eyes. Yeah, there's eyes that come out of the holes. What are those things? Ricky, it's Carl. More Carl importantly, alien. what was that thing with, like, the webs that just, like, quickly appeared and vanished? I'm not sure. Are these the Mole Men? Man, if those are the Mole Men, I want to know what the fuck's going on with their eyes. 
look, they use clear eyes to make sure that their eyes are okay. Kitty, that's not the problem. The fact is, they have tentacles, like, fucking extending their eye sockets. Look, hentai animals need help, too, alright? Hentai animal? Yeah, because, you know, you're just gonna fucking <laughs> eye fuck something. It's hentai! Shove eyeball in place where no need go. Ooh! Watch you! God. Ricky, what do you say to all this? It looks like that thing from Small Soldiers. You know now what? for some guy who just recorded himself catching a midnight movie while channel surfing. Oh boy, midnight movies, yes! Yas, girl, yas. Yas, boy! First the pit stop, now opening in Massachusetts. Currently at a Somberville local bank, it's 52 degrees at 1.23 a.m. And this one has the fucking audio from the Tours R Us old commercials. No. We just got the end of a horror movie. They're probably gonna repeat it. They normally they repeat this shit from this scene. Dimitri Clark. Director of photography, Xavier Under Undling. having an issue. I wonder if I has sh I should put it up because this movie is about spiders. Hell yeah. A bit of a warning about that or what? No, spiders are cool. Wait, so is this shit supposed to be about alien spiders then? Not sure about the alien part. Should I say these things grow natural in the earth? System, film board, costume design. Sponsored by the state of Massachusetts, from the way it sounds, the characters and events depicted in this photo, photo play are fictional, and any actual similarity to actual persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Oh, so they're implying they are dead. In memoriam of those who lost their lives between December 1952 and October 1953, working under the Somber Film Company, the film is dedicated to the families and friends of those deceased. I'm guessing they actually went somewhere dangerous. Samantha Art. That was the main star. Ryan Barrett. Barrett. Shelby Bell. Jim Boys. There's also a crack in the back. Lawrence Brown is also dead. He's also one of the main leads. Is this forming and forming as the credits go on? Um, it'll pop out. I'm warning you right now. Oh boy. Okay, turning the volume. Ah! Oh. Some of the people involved in this are also dead. What's the movie start? In other words, we might get in a little spooky. It's a lot of people that died. All in nineteen fifty three. Some of these people were either young or, or really old, or like in their fifties. The cracks are falling. Ah, looks like they're repeating. Oh! Attack of the Somerville Spiders. Gee, 
Jason! Now. Ah, don't forget to get your spider shield. Spider shield. Gonzo, I told you not to change the channel. So, in their world, giant spiders are attacking? A giant spider yeah. attacked Somberville. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and apparently they filmed a real movie with the giant spiders. All the people died, and they were still allowed to publish the movie. Yeah, it sounds like America. Which, by the way, there's a poster of... That must be a spider. Which yeah. is also available oh, because the Multimedia Center spider. also has a Patreon. And a Teespring. I don't know, maybe a nuke fell and mutated the bugs. And now for the quick one that j was just posted about 20... About last night, uh, thank you for support. A look back at what we've been seeing, and some that we have yet to see. Like Weather Wonders. Made possible by supporters like that. Welcome to Eventide Valley. We hope you enjoy your stay. The atomic test. The West King Fighter. Why spiders? Why spiders? Forlorn home video. Bone structure. Oh, hell yeah. All more of the eyeballs. We hope you enjoy Eventide Valley. Gift shop and donation box now open. Jesus. This is just an announcement for their Teespring and their Patreon. Like, it's a $5 fucking thing that you can join. I've looked at it. it it's unique because I don't know any other analog horrors that actually sell merchandise of it. Uh, Local 58 does. Yeah. I don't know if he, it's been done for uh, Gemini Home Entertainment. But some people have thrown up mocks of like a box set of what happens. Uh, what Bro, uh, I'm going to tell you now. They need a Lethal Omen t-shirt. I know Lethal Omen is now an official game through itch.io. And uh, yeah. there's also a fan game thrown up by Local 58 of Skywatch. You know, Watching, Skywatch, I think. yeah, Skywatch. Yeah, that one's on itch.io as well. Yeah. Those are probably fan-made. Although, Lethal Omen is probably pretty fun. Hmm. But yeah, a little... I'll just conclude you a recording fucking, for now. You and, got uh, a name like Lethal Omen, though. How did no one think to name a game this? Yeah. It's epic. Alright, let me... We gotta play this on stream on uh, Midnight Media one day. You think uh, so? Yeah, Lethal Omen. It'd tie in with Gonzo series. Oh yeah. Broadcast easy. Oh boy. Oh this is yeah. muffled, but we have closed captioning recorded in the video. <laughs> this takes place October 1987. I love it. This one I don't think I have seen. This one's new. Analog right, horror must be catching on. Now. There we go. City council meeting. Is this the sisterhood thing? Oh shit, they've actually got people. I think it is them. Although, it will be kind of muffled. Just to hide identities. Because it's, uh... Yeah. They upped their game I, in I this imagine... quality. This is great. Uh, there we go. There's the closed captioning. Because I'm guessing this meeting had to be kept secret. Uh, kinda. Look at that. 58% of resource allocations to an excavation project. They want to expand it to cut down, basically by cutting down cost of education. Because fuck the kids, right? <laughs> Into the commerce district. All right. There is a bit of trouble with this excavation project. Enter the priest of the Church of Gothsford. You sound like the same as the other guy. Uh, 
Uh, yes, according to this, the whole renovation thing is interfering with church service. Oh. He, uh, he wants some compensation and the excavation is to go away from the city center. And a little bit of drastic cutting on, SCA, on the excavation project. And look, we firmly believe the project goes against the Lord's wishes. But the mayor? Have you noticed the shaking? This is going to come into play later. Now enter the head of the whole excavation bullshit. Lee My kid R. Carlo. <laughs> Have you noticed the outline of the excavation? Oh, it's like a person. Like yes. a dead body. You are correct. The fuck? Look at me, I could be Detective Kitty. There's a dead yes, body you can. here, sir. Was it like a giant person? What the fuck? Yeah, There's a person the upside down. God, that's that whole map of old Gosforth. You know, it's really funny. There's a I big, huge human being out. underneath the city. You could not be a cop. <laughs> Why not? You put hexes on the big The excavation is unholy. Your sin shall be punished by the Lord's retribution. <laughs> oh! I'll take upon <laughs> myself. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Ah, well. Now there's some footage about this as to why this is starting to look weird. Are they excavating a dead body? I don't think Probably. it's dead. You used to mean someone was buried alive? Oh, Jesus. Not someone, something. Radioactive. We also like to showcase our recent subterranean finds. There is a human heart. Research is currently being conducted. Um, don't you think that would have been something to bring up before? Yeah, you know, we found like a giant purple beating heart that glows in the Are ground. Either human or Here's alien? The project timeline. By May, we plan to have this system 85% exposed. And, um, I think it's about that time to where you're going to get an earthquake. And you're going to be seeing why. Oh! Oh! Fucking someone you dead. dig. They oh, woke up back whatever back. the hell was under that town. We now go live to outside Old Gosford. They pissed off a god or some shit. I don't know. Oh my god. What the yes. hell is that? He wasn't happy to be woken up. You have awoken me from my slumber. It's a goddamn. That's that one anime. Titan. Oh, I got Titan. Titan. Yeah. No, you remember? It reminds me of um, the the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. Who dares disturb my slumber? Sorry. Right. I got gotcha. you. But you know, thing, I don't think we wanted to wake that up. <laughs> you know what's really funny is that this this purple hue with everything. This reminded me of the Sisterhood. It reminded me of the Sisterhood. I don't know if it was this uh, Inventi Media or if it was someone else, but it just reminded me of that. Oh, are you talking about the Sorority uh, House yes. from... Uh, maybe so, maybe. Yes, yes. Like, um, not did we pit... Inventi Media Center. It was through the Minerva Alliance. Did we piss I, you know, it off by accidentally theory. cutting it open? Like, what the hell? Because, like, there was a beating heart. It seemed... I have a... Sorry. It seemed we might have awoken it through the excavation. I have a bizarre theory. Now, this is just me, and I don't think it's real. But, um, what if Eventi Media and Minerva Alliance are connected in, like, an odd way? They might? Um, Maybe look, it's this is... The, the sorority videotape is something entirely different. Okay. The only way that there was ties between uh, Minerva Alliance and Eventi Media Center is that Quarks and Rack, who was behind the Minerva Alliance, helped out the guy, Aiden Chick, for the last video of Analog Archives, which was the uh, Somerville 64 video game. 
Oh, and that's okay. It. I, I just thought with the same, like, kind of style and purple hue and how they talked about an alliance, like a cult, I... It just reminded There's me no of that. There's no fucking cult here in the city council meeting. It looked cultish, but no, it's just... Yeah, it looked like Illuminati it's just, stuff. It's just your average city council meeting taped on public access. Trust me, there's nothing deeper in it, as far as I know. Okay? Yeah, like everything that happened in that film, it does not seem like genuinely they expected it to happen. Although they probably were given a warning with the outbursts of the priest from the church of old Gosford. Oh, yeah, like, I think there was some kind of freaking... I think God actually reached out and was like, hey, don't mess with that thing. And then it woke up that thing. Yeah. All right. While they were in the middle of the meeting, so wouldn't that mean it was already too late? I don't know. It, we didn't We did end up noticing how it kept rumbling and rumbling. It should have given them a warning, but no, it... Uh, they just ignored it as if they live in California and earthquakes happen all the time, even though Eventi Media Center occurs in Massachusetts. So, yeah. It does, it does make me wonder if, like, any of these uh, freaking, I, I, I guess I'll call them SCPs for now, but, uh, yeah, these weird uh, phenomenon have any kind of universal canon with each other. I don't think they do, but... If they were, I would love to hear from it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to cut off the recording and we can head back to send in. I love this already. Welcome to East Circuit, Massachusetts. This is the Interface Visions Inc. demo reel of January 1990. Now, what was the stuff with Eventide Media? Weird shit happening in Massachusetts. Is that the Pine Tree logo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know who they are. They had a lot of cool 3D animation. This one especially does. Yeah. And one that's <clears throat> kind of tying into, like, current events, because it kind of happened at around the same time with this. Something oh. about, like, the little... 3D model, low poly, it just really does scream 90s. Sonic like the Hedgehog it. lost his ring, guys. Okay, so we got some diodes, some surface mount parts. These animations are created from the visions and dreams of our most dedicated employees. They had the goggles, didn't they? I... There was some kind of headset the analog no, door related that's... thing. No, 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 that's Gemini. Gemini. Wow. Gemini. Sorry, they start to blur together at a certain I point. know. I'm, I'm going to help you along. So we have a piano with circuitry. Okay. You call it a synthesizer. <laughs> a flower. <laughs> A dark god. Electrical flower. A computer. The hell is that? Oops. Oh, okay. You broke uh, it. Is that a stick? I don't think that was a plug. All graphics are modeled after real world observations. Is this like a simulation type shit? Oh, I'm just gonna let it play so you can figure it out. Put a lot of effort into this. Is there... Oh, here comes the jump party. scare. Character <laughs> models. I love these transitions. I love how they start breaking and glitching up, too. Oh, I got a feeling how this is gonna go. Okay. I'd die if you start talking. Hello. Accurately modeled Hello, after I real participants. This is Bill Reed. He's one of the employees. What is I that? knew microchip! Oh. Microchip! This is Steve Harriet, another employee.
Joe Gatesburg. He's the project manager. I don't want to meet these people. Oh. Music stop. <gasps> oh, I this figured is the it out. Motherboard. I think I figured it out. Oh. Yeah. Here at Interface, our visions become reality. Oh, I get it. I get... That was clever. In loving memory of Madison Gatesburg, who died in 1989. Now, so they're on a simulation. Now, well, there's these photos that are also associated with Event Time Media Center. So let me throw a photo of Interface that's Visions. Right. They have the Twitter account with all the yeah images linked to it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna throw this in backstage for you guys. Am I correct that the even though yes, it's the simulation they're showing like the motherboard. When you look at it, it looks like uh, the actual place where it's being set because the the triangles with the squares are, look like pine trees. Yep. Right. So You're it's a... it's not it is a simulation, but it's more like a metaphor. It's that like a virtual shit. version yeah. of real life. There you yeah. go. It's literally like Second Life. Interface <laughs> Studios, East Circuit, Mi Massachusetts. It's a giant circuit board that is also a forest. Ooh. I don't know if it's meant to be taken literal though. Yeah. I think it's like a metaphor for like the building. And what surrounds it. Yeah, maybe. But then when you look at the picture, what the fuck's going on here? It, I, I think that's a more of a metaphor. I'm saying this thing. is a metaphor too. Like, this can't be literal. Yeah, it's more of like, if it's literal, then they're putting computer hardwire into the earth to control the elements around them. This is a far out theory, but it doesn't sound too, pl it sounds plausible on some level. All right, ready to go to a greenhouse next? Greenhouse gases, let's go. Welcome to the Oasis Greenhouse. Yeah. From the Botanical Foundation of Massachusetts and, and associated with the Ventai Media Group. As I fucking get annoyed, I watch together resetting my goddamn audio. <laughs> This is the Oasis Greenhouse of Aventide Valley. This is made possible by the folk... Uh, uh, I'm having a moment of fucking English. Help me, please. Floral section. There is yep. a lot of flowers. Oh, yes. This one... I can't even pronounce it, but it's two meters high. It comes from Aren't Japan. Aren't they hydrangeas? It's transferable oh. reproductive cells. Hydrangeum and Floria. This That's one... A lily. Is 2.5 oh. meters high. It or originated from Malaysia, and this is the external stamen and nectar is used. Did you know plants are hermaphrodites? About tropical selection. This is 16 meters tall from the Virgin Islands, and it's got some oversized palm leaves. Banana. Oh, bananas! Bananas! <laughs> 11 meters tall from India, oversized stalks and roots. Now for the subtropical selection. Like these leaves. They are variable of height, they come from Ireland, and these are predatory tendrils. This here is, I believe, the. F oh. These come from the United States, base genetic code and carnivorous tendencies. Yeah. Those eat flies. Now for the local selection. And which we're gonna get a little weird. Huh. Oh, intestines. The plant, my favorite. My grandma always Valve is take care concoctio. Of them. These are digestive fluids. 
the human brain. Bota Cerebro. These are the consciences. Well, we have video footage. It's March 1993. It's 4.32 p.m. And, uh... Looks like that Audrey fellow from, uh, the little shop of horrors is coming to life. Oh! Those are Venus flytraps that actually eat people. Oh, boy. We Laura Magalma. They reached 45 meters tall with protein production. Okay, so Special that fluid producing the oasis is used for high energy protein synthesis. This fluid is used in energy drinks, protein bars, and nutritious products. Ew. I believe we encountered the botanical version of the White Glove Society. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. You know, once I end up reviewing this footage, I feel like I can tell you exactly what she meant by saying those words. The White Glove Society will consume human flesh for any reason. And there's even a photo with this too, as with all these postings. Man just got fucking vored by a plant. So yeah, there's the oasis. In the oh, backstage. I see tendrils! Tendrils, I see it. Don't let that thing catch you, it'll freaking eat you. Grandma, why'd you overwater the plant? I told you not to give it that special mix of food. Alright. Would you like to learn about fire danger? Fire safety, yeah! We all like to learn about fire safe. Don't Staying burn safe me. on fires. Gonzo, I want it. Yeah, please. We Power sell those at my store. See under yellow pages. Welcome to Ashfield, WAFD Channel 9. The Ashfield Fire Department fire danger level is coming up. This was strangely taking place during a good chunk of some California wildfires recently. So the timing of this couldn't be perfect. It's July 23rd, 1979. It's 5.33 it's p.m. and it's 81 degrees. Is that needle moving? Hello? Here's a message from the County Fire Department. At 3.35 tomorrow, a controlled burn will occur at the junction of County Road 32 and Ashfield Bypass. Be prepared for possible detours when traveling. Hmm. See local station for updates. That thing's moving. It's going up. It's going to moderate. No! It's centered, really. It's no, it's moving. Centered. I made it look off centered. I'm sorry. Bro. Ah, you can prevent wildfires. We it's can't like say you watch. too can prevent wildfires. That's Smokey the Bear's thing. So it's July 24th, 1979. It's 2.48 p.m. It's 95 degrees. The control burn will be happening very soon. Open fires are permitted and we're prohibited. Going, we're getting, oh, now it's prohibited. A reminder that at 3.35 p.m. a controlled burn will occur at the junction of County Road 32 and the Ashton Field Bypass. There will be detours. You too can help prevent wildfires. Lo visit your local fire station to learn more. The ceremony begins at 3. Ceremony? Why do you need a ceremony for- Oh no! It's 95 degrees! Oh god, it's going hotter! Visit your local fire station soon! For what? If you're burning shit. If the Blast fire... me with that hose, it's too fucking hot. I'm dying. I'm dying. Another message from the county fire department. You too can help prevent wildfires. Today's ceremony will begin shortly. Oh god, it's getting hotter. Put the AC It's still 95. Actually, it's getting colder. It's 96 now. No, that's hotter! Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You must visit Bro, your local fire right. station now. <laughs> I'm running on three hours of sleep, don't mind me. This is live footage of the July burn control. 
Oh, wow. It's 337. The burn is currently in progress. Those who are not participating are required by law to seek shelter immediately. I'm trying to fight back an entity, people! Ah! It's it is now 108. The danger level is high. Remain indoors at this time. Prepare for emergency action. They're fighting some kind of fire god. It is now classified as a high hazard wildfire. Fire line currently heading towards Ashenfield Bypass and Grove Creek. It is now a burn control failure. Jesus. It is now extremely hot at 115 degrees Fahrenheit. But there are no restrictions at this time. Oh, yeah, fuck it, do whatever. Now nah, you're all already dead. Message from the county fire department. If you're capable, Die. any and all citizens of Ashenfield must report to a local fire station immediately. Ashenfield, ha ha ha. You too can prevent wildfires. A little late for that. Who the hell is doing this if they're like in burned up in fucking hell and brimstone over there? Being Here's more footage of the giant burn control live. Oh yeah, those are people being burnt alive. Ah, cute. That's actually really good editing. Yeah, no, I'm impressed. What is that creature? It's the fire god. Try to fight a giant wood beast. Technical difficulties. Wasn't, we'll be back shortly. Wasn't Event Tide Media the one dealing with like the uh, giant? It did feature a giant. Oh, by the way, next is Barbecue Hour. I thought Fitting. you were about to say it's the Barbie Hour. <laughs> barbecue Hour. No, but it's worse. It's Barbecue Hour. I thought you were about to say this is the Barbie and Hour. And I managed I like, to, to time it up just right. There is also an Ashen Field wildlife, wildfire prevention poster. Uh, it says here the fucking wooden monster. <laughs> Nine in ten wildfires are caused by inactivity. You too can prevent wildfires. With Cthulhu don't, of the woods. Don't prevent wildfires. They're trying to burn that thing. <laughs> and That's why finally, I want Cthulhu of the woods. Let's go to the water park! Woo! Yeah, that's pretty spicy. <laughs> Need me some barbecue chips. Bluefish. Oh boy. This Do is not. an employee videotape. We can't Fish. distribute. Fishes are For blue. training purposes. Can we react to actual employee videotapes? I think that'd be fun. We can do that. If we can. Anyways, welcome to Bluefish Water Park of Indigo Shoals, Massachusetts, off Route 28. Let's go. This is your new job. Yes. The yeah, I'm working in pro The volume contains key information for employees working Bluefish Water Park. Begin by turning to page 13. Now these are the tubes. These are tubes of other sections of the park that are not blue branded and fluid rapids. Uh, uh, we skipped a bunch. Yeah, because this tape's shit. The filtration system provides constant flow of purified water throughout the attraction. During season, pH levels and water temperature are to be measured every 30 minutes. God, the text the goes fast. Rapids also cycles all the park's water throughout the various attractions. Why does it say fluid rapids instead of water? Now the fishbowl. Safety is the number one priority in the fish bowl. Most of the functionality is handled by supervisors in the main control. As an employee and operator, your job is to prepare the rafts that arrive via conveyor belt. A maximum party of four can fit inside these fish bowl rafts. Once the signal is given on the control board, the riders can enter the tube.
During season, the fishbowl will be permanently closed to visitors. What season? You'll find out. Oh An boy. operator can still be required to operate this during this time. Your job is to open and close the B-tube and the exit when the signal is given. Manual operation of the fishbowl may only last for a few hours during the season. Is it fish eggs? They're feeding riders to the fish. Welcome to the Stomach Twisters. Oh. Subtle. My favorite. Safety is the number one priority in the Stomach Twisters. Three employees are required to operate this ride. Loader, unloader, and special operator. Ooh. The unloader is at the bottom of the slide. I'll give you all clear via radio once riders have exited. Once the all-clear is given, the loader at the top can give the signal for the riders to enter the tube. Prior to this, the loader must make sure the correct path is chosen. For general purposes, path 1 will be the correct path. Have you noticed something on those slides? During the season, paths 2 and 3 will be requested by a supervisor. Pad 2 will be closed Whoa. off the attraction to general visitors as the tube will be diverted to the special guest. Is that a giant snake? A Pad 2 operation oh. may last up oh, to girthy. 90 minutes. Oh. If a Pad 3 operation is requested, you will be asked to sign legal documents relating to the request. There's veins on that thing. During a Path 3 operation, the ride is open to the public and visitors are encouraged to use it. You're encouraging that? The special operator located on the boarding dock will give it all clear via radio. At this point, the riders will enter the tube where they will be digested. The time oh, period God. we call season will last between August 31st and... Oops, I, I kind of... And yeah, if you can see that, digested. Oh Ooh. my god. Yeah. Anyways, the time period of the season. It's August 1st and September 13th. During season, the Bluefish Water Park becomes a sacred place. Our duty as park managers and operators is to ensure the attractions function as required during this time. Our special guests may arrive at any time and the park is designed to accommodate our guests' needs. Is that a giant fish? Thank you for watching. That is a, oh. a giant fish. I give it points for creativity. We hope you find purpose in your new job at Bluefish Water Park. If you're in need of assistance, contact the supervisor. Or you could just feed yourself to the special guest. I feel like once you've watched this tape, you have no other choice or they kill you. And thus well, catches yeah, yeah. up all last years of all the last year's analog horror that got updated over the past year. Yeah, we're feeding people to a giant fish so it doesn't eat the world. Is it is Event Tide like Twilight Zone where they're all different little stories or they're all tied? Ah, uh, it feels like uh, Twilight Zone. Yeah, so yeah I kind of like that. Like, yeah, it feels like Twilight Zone where it's just telling a bunch of random uh, analog stories. Kind of like uh, Minerva Alliance in a bit. They all take place in Massachusetts and they're all collected by this one, one I guess, library of weird tapes. But yeah, that catches up on all the last year's shit. Oh, one of the rides goes directly into the special guest. I get Can it. I, like, pee first? Please? Yeah, go I'm ahead. Drinking I'm drinking so gonna... much tea. Oh, if you must. I'm just I'm kidding. Load up... <laughs> okay, bitch, come with me. We can bathroom bond together. Yes! Yes! yes. Let's bestie bathroom bond. Piss buddies! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Gonzo, do you want to be, like, bathroom buddies with us? I'm going to stop right here.
let's get going. I'm excited. Ooh, the effects, sorry. September 21st, 1997. <gasps> Welcome I, oh, to New I Trilight. The, I love this. I love the effects, sorry. This is channel 33. We are seeing the week ahead. It's strange oh. we have four days a I week. Love, I love the visuals. I'm so sorry. It's, it's really visually nice and nice in the music. It's complimentary. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hmm. Unless they just do it a 4 by 4 grid and they just don't show the days. Anyways, what's happening? Let's see. We got the Delta Clothing and Accessory Grand Opening, Terry Farms Food Stand, and Free Preparation Seminar. Happening today in New Trilight, Massachusetts. Remember, event tie takes place in Massachusetts. Nearby you today, Delta Fashion Clothing and Accessories makes its grand opening today at 9 a.m. Located at the Trilight Shopping District on Route 35. Delta Fashion is expected to offer limited time grand opening deals on all department items. And we pretty much go live. This area has a strange fascination with threes. Huh. Especially well, with Delta being the third in the, uh, well, I want to say Greek is alphabet. Well, three is a very powerful number, not only in vibrational forces, but, um... September 22nd, 1997. Yeah, three, we've ended up seeing three a couple of times. Uh, most recently, the Mandela catalog that we premiered back in February. The error 333. Three. That was a significant number. What's happening? Um, Trilight School Board Meeting, Sky Park Flea Market, and the Monday Festival. Monday. Ah, what's happening nearby you? The Monday Festival begins at 9 p.m. tonight on Main Street. Parking is available at the Sky Park Recreation Center lots. The closing ceremony begins at 10, and all festivities promptly end at 11. I'm sure that's nothing. It's probably just a normal fun festival. What the Ooh, fuck is that? We're live on location. What the shit is that? It's not like a... It's not burning, man. Oh, what? Unknown. I'm guessing it's September 23rd. The week ahead. Yeah, try day September 23rd. The calendar is empty now uh oh who, who hijacked all of the community events happening today Triday events all day But what are Tri-Day events? Nearby you. The Tri-Day events begin between 12 a.m. and 5, 6 a.m., I believe. Hang on, let me take a look. I'm trying to see. I think it says 6 a.m. You remain in bed, and by 3 p.m., an all-clear will be given over the tri light local alert system. Remember to remove all instances of the number 3 in your place of residence. Kind of hard when you have 3 p.m. and 33 as your channel's as your channel a uh, fucking number. Thanks for resetting the volume. Fucking watch together. UFO and aliens. I just have to say, whoever created this, this, this is fucking visually beautiful. It's by Aiden Chick, the uh, guy behind uh, Channel 7 and, and uh, Analog Archives. This is fucking phenomenal. Like, as somebody who's an editing person, like, loves to edit, I... Ooh. 
very inspiring. Get that kit. Still hearing. Oh! The door opened. I, I swear to God, if there's a jump scare. I will. I will cry. It will. Free. They're not like as cheap as fucking uh the Mandela catalog. Oh my God! What is that? What is that? Oh, oh. Oh, oh that was kind of oh. creepy. It's like an alien with eyes. <gasps> oh. Oh my god! A temporal interruption occurred at station site 41.93139, uh, negative 70.93890, which Quark's what? Erect decided to look up when this thing went out. And those are the coordinates of an area of an area near Middleborough, Massachusetts, which is, is. which is west of Plymouth. Yeah. So, okay, I guess Triday used to be near Middleborough and uh I guess disappeared. Fucking I hate you when you fucking reset the audio goddamn watch together. There is also, as with all the uh, E, the AMC posts, mm -hmm. there's also a photograph of sign with this as well. I managed to snag a hold of it. Oh, let me see. Uh, once I fucking find it again. An old photograph of Tri Day back in 1983. Are those things aliens? Like. They, they look like aliens with mounts to me. Interdimensional, though, maybe? Who knows? Something. Sometimes... I think this is really cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so inspiring. I, I know it's supposed to be, like, analog core, and no disrespect to the creator, but, like, oh, this is really inspiring to, like, do edits and stuff. Yeah. Uh... The sad part is he he's taking a step back from it. It's fine. I mean, everybody needs a break, but hopefully, uh, the person behind Eventime Media, you're feeling better, and we hope that you're doing okay. Hmm. You don't see on. this ad. Uh. Oh. Do you want me to curse you? I mean, it's not an issue. Uh, you see, we, we, this is why having ad block on is bad sometimes. Friends so don't curse friends. They advertise new friends. Where? I mean, new games. Uh, Here's a new All friend. All right, let's. Wow. 